Radam! Yes, man, you are you? You get where you look for. You big eye glass. We never ban for function and the corruption. Yeah. Go on, you go on, go on. Ease yourself, just keep it calm, you just star. Only pop pressure and I'm gone. What time it hard for carry on? You don't need no girl for turn to no man for talk to. Feelings hurt, but the journey so far. Wagwan Success family, hope you all doing alright. If you're new to the channel, welcome and make sure to subscribe to get all our latest videos. Like this video so we can continue to drop more contents like this one. Alright, so Robert Brown started a petition to remove DPP Paula Llewellyn over the handling of Vibes Cartel case. Many people have been asking for this and now it's here. This petition against the DPP Paula Llewellyn raises serious concern about her conduct and leadership, particularly in relation to the handling of Vibes Cartel case. I believe it will take more than this petition to remove her from office but it's a good start the dpp have been under pressure by the attorney bert samuels in her decision regarding the tainted jury pool in vibe scottle case also dpp katian pike's letter to the prime minister andrew holness regarding improper conduct adds to the scrutiny surrounding paula llewellyn extended time in office moreover criticism from figures like mark golden regarding delays in the ssl fraud investigation outlines a broad dissatisfaction with the DPP office performance. Despite growing discontent and accusation of corruption and unfairness, the process of removing Paula Llewellyn will involve legal and administrative procedure beyond the scope of just a single petition. Nevertheless, the petition serves as a tangible expression of public frustration and might contribute to a broader discussion about accountability and reform within Jamaica's legal system. So big up to robert brown this petition is what we need and this is and this is what we were asking for so this is what robert brown said in his petition we the citizens of jamaica are concerned and saddened at the office of the dpp mishandling of the vibes cartel case under leadership direction of miss paula llewellyn director of public prosecution we are concerned that miss llewellyn's insistence on carrying on with the case of the issue of tainted jurors shows lack of respect for our justice system it's not only wrong to secure an unsafe conviction of your own personal opinion but it also goes against our constitutional rights to a fair trial we have no confidence in miss llewellyn's leadership at this time to rectify or not to repeat these violations of our rights in the future therefore we are requesting a resignation immediately and the appointment of an interim director until a replacement is named all right so this petition by Robert Brown aims for the removal of Director of Public Prosecution DPP Paula Llewellyn because of profound concerns regarding her, her management of the high-profile Vibes Cartel case. The petition outlines several significant grievance as you know robert is basically criticizing paula llewellyn handling of the vibes cartel case particularly focusing on the controversial a issue of tainted jurors which occurred under her overseen leadership he also condemns paula llewellyn decision to persist with the case despite growing doubts about the trial being fair so Robert claims that obtaining a conviction based on subjective judgment rather than concrete evidence constitutes a violation of citizens' constitutional rights to a fair trial. His expression of skepticism regarding Paula Llewellyn's ability to address past violations or prevent their reoccurrence leading to a loss of confidence in her leadership because it was Paula Llewellyn who said this is not her first time dealing with a tainted jury pool and it makes you wonder how she dealt with those other cases. <laughs> really have a laugh for that one day. So Chargy is I'm gonna call him Chargy because I will have a Chargy, I know. <laughs> so Chargy is calling for the immediate resignation of Paula Llewellyn and the appointment of an interim director to oversee the DPP office until a suitable replacement is appointed. Judge and no youth. I personally love this idea. This petition will serve as a collective outcry against perceived injustice and aims to restore the public trust, restore Jamaica trust in the justice system by advocating for accountability and a change in leadership within the office of the DPP. So click the link in the description or comment section and share the video. The more people see it, the more this will grow. All right, so I want you guys to voice your opinion 
in the comment section tell me what you think about this petition because i said this petition will not be the only thing that will get the dpp out of office it will take a lot more to get her out of office it will take a lot more because remember she does have the backing of the government the government that is in power right now jlp she does have the backing of the government she does have the backing of andrew wholeness so that is one of the biggest roadblock for a lot of people who is crying out for a resignation for the dpp she will not be dismissed from off office without andrew wholeness having his say so i will drop another video tomorrow i will basically ask important questions about the dpp and her power in Jamaica justice system because unlike the governor general the prime minister and the diplomats of Jamaica no one knew the DPP was this powerful until now and she seems to relish in that power and she have been allowed to have her own ways so definitely look out for that video and check out this clip from the DPP where she did an interview with Smile Jamaica check it out the law allows us to go either in terms of trial in the high court before a judge alone or judge and jury. To go before um, the high court with judge alone, it has to be done by consent of both the prosecution and the defense. If we don't agree that it will be a judge alone trial, then the default position is that it goes to what? The law has always allowed. Is, is there a trial by judge is and there a benefit to whether Well, sometimes it's a matter of strategy. It's a matter of for the defense getting instructions from their client as to what they would prefer. For us, sometimes we get instructions from the witnesses and sometimes we to looking at what we have to face on the ground. Okay. Prefer in certain types of cases to go with a jury as opposed to a judge alone. As far as you can remember in your experience, have we ever been at a point where we are, we are, I want to say, okay, with compliance where Jewers are concerned. We're buying for Jewers, uh, well, as far as you can remember. Well, I have been a prosecutor for some, hmm, about at least 32 years. But I have been told anecdotally that in the days when, before you had the amendments, just like how you used to have situations where only a certain type or class, quote unquote, of people could vote. So too, once upon a time, it, it would have been members of the plantocracy and members of the um, intelligentsia mm. who were able to sit as jurors. So they didn't really have issues when it came to resources That's for refreshment mm -hmm. and mm. transportation. But 